Geneva and welcome to Hollow Hollow, your top entertainment and lifestyle show for Asian Pacific Americans and the show that aims to spotlight our very own community. Joining us today is a powerful and soulful singer-songwriter, Larissa Lam. She is releasing her fourth studio album next month and just released the first single off of that album yesterday titled I Feel Alive and she's also going to perform it right here on the show. But first, let's get to know Larissa a little bit more. <laughs> welcome, Larissa. Hi, Ken. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in the studio because um, I first met you on the red carpet. Yeah. And I didn't have enough time to get to know you. <laughs> well, I'm glad I could be here. We yeah. can talk a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so let's talk about your fourth studio album. Yes. Solo album. Yes. Um, congratulations, first of all. Thank you. It's been four and a half years in the making. Yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> and it is titled Love and Discovery. Yes. So I'm guessing it's a little bit about love, but also a little more. Yeah, I mean, I think I've been a songwriter, you know, for a very long time, and I normally don't like to write love songs, you know, especially I know in the Asian community, love songs are big. And so for the first time, I decided to write some songs because I had fallen in love a few years ago, got married to a great guy named Only One, um, uh, who's a hip hop artist. Yeah, who, I know. who's also in the music biz. Yeah, yeah, so I said, you know, let's try to write some love songs for a change. Uh -huh. And so I decided to write a few love songs. But then I think the discovery comes is that, you know, as we go through life, you're always discovering new things things about yourself and I think there was a lot of things about myself that I didn't know fears I had and mm -hmm. things fears I had to conquer or even you know there's some good versus evil you know elements in in this album right. where there's some superhero <laughs> themes uh -huh. where trying to do good in the world and you know mm -hmm. trying to make a difference and so I think that's the right. discovery of it all okay and was, was there ever a point where you thought I'm sharing too much I'm disclosing so too much of my fear or was it all let's share this you together? know I actually went through a bout of depression like several years ago oh, and wow. after after I went through that bout of depression, uh -huh. I really started sharing a lot more about my life and through my right. music because I think, you know, if I write happy things all the time, you know, people are like, well, that's that's great, but I can't relate to that. But what I realized as I started playing the songs, um, you know, there's a song in particular called I Paralyzed Off My Album, which talks about fear and really the process of just trying to overcome all these obstacles right. and so many people resonate with that song because I think all of us feel paralyzed by fear at some point in our lives. That's true. And we need to break free from that. So the song's about breaking Very free and not staying paralyzed. <laughs> yes. Very empowering. So Larissa, you talk about struggles and obstacles mm -hmm. and I read somewhere that it, it took four and a half years to produce Love and Discovery and there were times when you were thinking, should I stay in the music biz, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've been working, I mean, it's my fourth solo album. Um, I, you know, I've written music for television. You know, I've worked for projects like, you know, Dance Dance Revolution and the Oprah Winfrey Show and yeah. and a lot of other TV programs. And um, I've been touring and I kind of was like, you know what, is this something that I should still be doing because it seems like this album is just not getting done. So right. I was trying to figure out, God, is this what you want me to do? Mm -hmm. Or is this something that you don't want me to do? And I, I definitely had to pray a lot about it, talk to my friends and you know I always told people it's like you know I'll keep singing as long as people are willing to hear me sing. Right. And I think as I went through the, the journey of love and discovery um, I discovered that people still wanted to hear me sing yeah. and, and and honestly I, I poured so much into the I think the songwriting of, and recording of it that yeah. it just people just needed to hear it so I, I hope people when they do listen to it um, will relate to the songs and hopefully it can inspire them and maybe help them through something um, yeah. or you know just empower them for exactly. feeling alive like I'm going to perform right? later. <laughs> <laughs> now you worked with uh, David Longoria who has yes. worked with some huge people yes, right? Yes he has. Sting, George Sting, Michael. Mm -hmm. um, tell me how that come, came into fruition. Well, um, David and I had a mutual friend uh -huh. um, named Johnny Mandola who introduced us years ago. Right. And it was one of those things where when I was looking for a producer to work with, I just kept running into David at different places. <laughs> and again, I took that as a sign from God, you know, maybe like we should like work together. Right. And so the more we talked and, you know, the more we seemed to have like uh, to be on the same page as far as what we wanted to do. Yeah. And I know he had success in the on the dance charts. He had a he had a hit with CeCe Peniston a few mm -hmm. years back. Mm -hmm. And then he also himself had a hit called Zumba Loomba on the Billboard oh, charts. Cool. And so I just kind of figured, you know what, I, I had a history in dance music right. and I'd love to kind of bring some of those elements back into my music. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, with some of the organic stuff, because he's also a Latin jazz musician, so I love so jazz. Well so yeah, so I'm like, I love horns, uh -huh. I love dance music, let's try to put that all in the album. Speaking of jazz, you kind of love jazz as well, right? So I do. So like, you were classically trained. I was classically you love trained. Jazz. Now, for Love and Discovery though, what's the sound? Is it? EDM? Is it pop? Is it... Pop? I like to call it EDM 
jazz and R&B influenced pop. I know? like it. <laughs> um, because I think as an artist, I am influenced by so many of just different things, uh -huh. but I think there's a cohesion to it just because my vocals and I think yeah. my songwriting tie them all together. Yeah. Um, you know, but ultimately it's like, I have a couple of songs that are a little bit throwback jazzy, but with mm -hmm. like a modern twist. Um, and certainly some- It's Larissa's original sound. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit more R&B-ish. Yeah, I mean, and, and you know, and as an artist, like I didn't want to be just boxed Once. into just an EDM artist, yeah. but again, I have a lot of that EDM influence. I used to sing with a group called Nitro Praise and yeah. we did like gospel dance, techno, house music. Uh -huh. So I wanted to kind of keep, you know, some you of that You make it look me. fun. Oh, I, I hope people find that it's fun. Yes. <laughs> and with a message too. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think it's good to feel alive as yeah. opposed to feeling depressed. Speaking of feeling alive, you're going to be performing I Feel Alive on the show, later on in the show. Yes. Tell me about the process, the whole writing process for that single. You know, um, I'm kind of unique in that I also produce music, uh -huh. but I like to work with outside producers. And so when I wrote the song, I actually put together a track of first and okay. wrote to that track, which is unusual for a lot of songwriters. Yeah. I mean, I play the piano too, so sometimes I write just on the piano and right. then we'll do the production afterwards. But I actually came in with the idea that this would be a dance song. Mm -hmm. And then obviously it was remixed by Robert Eibach, um, who works with David Longoria as well. And he, he just won a Grammy for um, <laughs> wow. an album called Winds of Samsara. <laughs> um, but you know he's an up-and-coming DJ um, and just really really incredible sound that he yeah. came up with um, and so it, it was just a song that I, I just felt it, I had the song stuck in my head in the shower of all places. <laughs> That's a sign. You know everyone like sings in the shower so yeah. I sing original songs in the shower That's and awesome. then hopefully they become hit songs. <laughs> <laughs> well I can't wait for you to perform it right here on the show but for people that want to see you live you have several performances coming up right? Yes I actually have um, a lot. Um, I'm going to be performing at the Metamorphosis Gala mm -hmm. on Wednesday, May 13th, uh -huh. which is, I think, tomorrow, yes. and <laughs> at the Walt Disney Concert Hall, so yeah. I'm excited about that. The um, there are great. Yeah, <laughs> it's a benefit for the Asian Pacific Women's Center for people who oh, don't know. It's a shelter for domestic abuse victims yeah. and families, and so um, I'm really excited to be promoting such an incredible mm -hmm. cause. I'm also going to be performing at the Asian Pacific Alumni UCLA Banquet yeah. on Friday, um, May 15th. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a proud Bruin. <laughs> nice. so so I'm um, really glad to be there and they're going to be honoring Randall Park for obviously Ooh, yeah. his work and raising the visibility of, of Asians. He's an yes. alum as well. Um, so that's going to be very exciting. That's awesome. And for all the information, your tour dates, how to get your single, where do we go? Um, you can go to larisalam.com or okay. loveanddiscovery.com. Thank you so much for spending the time with us today. Thanks for having me. <laughs> time for a quick break, but don't go anywhere because Larissa will perform her first single off of her album, Love and Discovery, all after the break.